welcome to my channel everyone if this is your first time viewing welcome uh, my name is Shay G if you are a, re a returning viewer it's so good to see you back um, happy new month it's currently 1 a.m. Um, April 1st 2023 and 107 a.m. And um, I want to bring light to something that is very sad to me. It's a beautiful thing, but it's sad at the same time. So basically, I was at work today and um, the Lord told me to speak with someone. And so I did that being obedient to God. And um, the person told me that I, I told them that God wants God is waiting for them God wants them to um, wants them to seek him and um, it she's a young woman it's a beautiful young woman and you know I said God is waiting for you to talk to him and she says how you know and I said just like we're having a conversation and so basically I know a lot of people do their they don't know how to talk to God they do not know how to start a conversation with God you know um, and then she started asking me where can she talk to him and I said anywhere um, we can speak to the Lord anywhere at any given time um, you do not have to be in the temple you do not have to be in the church you do not have to be in a sacred space you can be in the middle of the grocery store you can be on your living room floor in front of your couch you can be in the bathroom you can be in the bathtub in the shower you can be at work in the break room you could be at work in your office you could be anywhere in the pool by a tree at the gas station you can be anywhere to talk to the Lord to seek him and um, I said it's sad because it's sad and it's beautiful. The sad part about it is that people are losing time um, because they don't know, they're losing time and wasting time because they don't know how to start the conversation with God. But the beautiful part is that they desire that, right? So um, it's sad and it's beautiful at the same time. But, um, the question is how how do i talk to god how do i start a conversation with god and you just open up your mouth and you speak to him whatever you are worried about god wants us to talk to him as much as we talk to our friends family co-worker god wants us to talk to him as much and more and you do not have to be in the church. You do not have to be at home in your prayer space, anywhere you are. So if you are waking up in the morning, talk to God as if you would talk to your parents, your spouse, or anyone else that you would see in the morning time. Good morning, God. How are you today? I ask God how he is doing. I ask God. I talk to God about fruit that he has made. I just wonder, you know, like, God, have you tasted the blueberry? Like, I know you have. You made it. You know, God wants us to have a relationship that's so sh strong, um, a foundation that has to be built off Jesus Christ, right? But God desires that conversation. And once we start to open up our mouth to him at any given time, anywhere, he will give us the words to say. And God does that through his Holy Spirit. So it's a beautiful process that you learn when you start to really commune with God and um, be in relationship with him. So I wanted to make this video to shine a light on how to talk to God, how to have a conversation with God. No, you don't have to be in anywhere sacred. And yes, you can talk to him just as you talk to your friends and family. Um, but I talk to him like we're having a conversation now but at the same time i have reverence which is respect i have a, a high level of reverence when i talk to god so say for instance 
something practical. I'm in the car with my mom and we're talking. The radio's up. We may talk over the radio. When I'm in the car with God and the radio's up, I'll turn it down because it's just a level of respect. Not, you know, I also, you know, respect my mom or my elders. And, you know, if I'm with someone and the radio's blasting, you turn it down so you can have that undivided attention. But with God, it's just, you know, I turn the radio down, you know, something practical like that to give him reverence. Um, something else is I talk to him like I know, you know, like I know that he is God. I talk to him like I know that he created the stars and the moon. I speak to him as if I know he is the creator of the sun and the clouds and that he is the one that makes it rain. Um, you know, so it's a level of respect and reverence that I have when I talk to God, but I still talk to him how I know to speak. You know, I have a person, my personality is how I can talk to anyone. So the way that I'm talking to you all now, this is how I talk to people. So I, I don't need to use big words and, oh, art thou father and oh, thou the we don't have to do that. You don't have to be um, artificial in conversation when you are vocal with God. There's no need for that because God truly knows everything. He knows every single thing there is to know about you. So therefore, you can just be yourself, <laughs> which is a beautiful thing. Just be who you are and understand that you don't have to be anywhere special you do not, you don't. And when the young lady said how, um, when the young lady said how, it kind of made me sad because she she really doesn't know. And I seen it in her body language and the tone of her voice and her facial expression. You know, I said, God wants you to talk to him. And she said, how? You know, and she, she truly does not know how to go about a conversation with God. So conversations with God is as simple as you make it or as um, hard as you make it. It was another word I was looking for. It doesn't have to be complicated, that's the word. Um, it can be as simple as you make it. So you just open up your mouth and talk to God. You don't always, you don't always have to be on your knees with your eyes closed but that is a, another form of reverence and respect. Have you ever like watched the award shows and you've seen someone like, I don't know, some great big old star would come on the stage and you would see people go like this, like, you know, they're bowing to them because they're, they're this big, great person or whatever. It's just like, this is like them doing that to them. First of all, that's idolizing, but um, they're giving respect to that person so if you've ever seen that but praying with your eyes closed on your knees to god is another level of reverence for him that he absolutely deserves because he gave you your eyes and he gave you your knees as well so why not use them to pray to him this is how i look at it you know god gave me my eyes so i want to Look at the clouds and the stars and the moons and the sun when I talk to him because he gave me eyes to see. But I also want to close them because I have the ability to close my eyes and I can bend my knees and he gave me the ability for my limbs to work. You know, he has blessed me with um, movement in my limbs. So why not use everything that he has given me and worship him um, with them? So it's just really levels to it, but it does not have to be complicated. You can talk to God wherever, whenever, and with whatever emotion you're feeling. I was going to say like whenever, wh whenever, wherever, and however, but not however. You know, you shouldn't talk to God with like anger. Because I've heard people say, you know, that they were mad at God. And I could just imagine how a mad person would talk to God. God, I'm mad at you. You did this. You shouldn't do that, even though I would say if that's how you have to release what you're feeling, do that because God is so good. He knows that you want to do it anyway. He knows that you want to do it and he's so good where he'll accept that as communication. 
Um, and so just be authentic, not artificial in your conversation with God. Pray to him on the floor while you sit down. Pray to him in a bathroom, girl. You can pray to him when you are in the bathroom, on the toilet, doing a number one. A number two, just thank you, God. Um, I forgot who it was in the Bible, but someone was thanking God that they had, like, like the holes in our body. Like, where we pee from, where we number two from. Someone, was it a Bible? Is it in the Word? I have to find this. But I remember a story and someone was thanking God for the holes that we have to release the toxic um, mess in us, you know, to release that. So you can talk to him anywhere. Just it's um, we worship God through spirit and truth. And that means that in the spirit. So we are spirit, spiritual beings. We are not just this flesh that we live in. We are not just our bodies. We are spirits beautiful spirits and um you can talk to god anytime anywhere you do not have to go to church just to talk to him and it doesn't stop when you go to church and then when you leave church it doesn't stop you know yes it's a beautiful thing to worship god in the church but when you leave the church it doesn't have to stop there you can talk to him whenever wherever and with however um, with whatever emotions you are feeling so i just wanted to make this video to help somebody because the young lady she just she doesn't know where to start and I know she's not the only one like that and she's a lot younger than me um I'm in my 30s now and she is maybe 20 at the most and um a lot of young individuals are seeking God and they're seeking Jesus and they're seeking Holy Spirit, but they just don't know how to go about it. So if I can open up my mouth and spread a message to give someone some type of encouragement, motivation, or help towards that conversation with God, then I'm going to do that because we are being obedient to the Lord for the rest of our days. Um, God bless you all. If this helped you, send it to somebody who you feel like it would help. And until the next time. Okay. God bless. Thank you.